Iceberg Aiming ASMR. And if you're new here, just so you know, I upload two versions of all my videos. One with gameplay audio and one without. So look at the video title to see which one you're watching. And if you'd prefer to watch the other one, it is linked at the top of the video description. But with that out of the way, we are back to our journey with Jasara, the Night Elf Hunter in World of Warcraft Classic. And today is going to be, I think, a pretty good episode because we're almost to level 10. So my goal for this video is to finish up these quests at level 10 and get our first pet. I can't exactly remember um, how involved the quest is to get your pet, so if it's long, we might not actually get the pet in this video, but we should definitely at least hit level 10. Okay, let's see. You must visit the last moon while go northwest in the Oracle Glade under the burrows of Bows. I keep saying burrows under the boughs of the oracle tree. So, the northwest. That would be up in here. The tumors. In the northern, okay. And then to the west. that bar all over here, maybe. Okay, well that's the hollow. Wow. That thing is loud. Well, let's go check out that hollow. And uh, then I guess we'll go north of that. Do, um, do the other quests, I think. Band of the Lord, all alright. Ravaging the band at the Borrow Den to the west. Journey to the den and retrieve the Ravenclaw's talisman, Black Feather Quill, Sapphire of Sky, and Rune of Nesting. Okay. As you can see, I'm playing this at night. I'm um, also... I started Baldur's Gate 3 yesterday, which I'm already feel, I already feel slightly addicted to that game. But I think WoW is a better game to play at night just to kind of wind down and relax. Okay, this is the hollow down there. I think I need to find a better way down. So, by the time I upload this video, uh, it will it'll probably be over a month after I've actually recorded it. But I'm going on a trip soon, which I've talked about in other videos, but I'm going to be traveling for two weeks with my girlfriend in Portugal. And I have, right now, it is May 1st when I'm recording this. Oh wow, I have the audio up way too loud. Um, I have my videos scheduled out through, I think, May 21st, so for the next, like, three weeks. Um, so in that time, I'm trying to get as many videos pre-recorded before I leave as I can. So I'll still have a backlog when I get back from my trip. And I've been pretty busy, but surprisingly I've been doing pretty well. Um, I think I have, 
I think this will be the ninth video that I have backlogged for when I get back. Which at two a week gives me about a month. So, ideally, I should have videos um, scheduled out until nearly the end of June, if not the end of June, um, before I leave for my trip. But anyway, since I'm going to have those videos recorded, it'll hopefully take a little pressure off me for a while. And I've been trying to think of some other types of ASMR videos I can make. Um, since I'll have more time to dedicate, in theory, I'll have more time to dedicate to the videos because I'll have that backlog. And uh, I kind of just recently had this idea, so I haven't really come up with any ideas yet. But I've been looking at, oh, um, this is finally a better, uh, it's like the exact same one that I already have. Um, but I've been obviously watching other people's YouTube channels because I'm like addicted to YouTube. And just noticing that there's some channels that have like thousands of viewers and they've only ever uploaded like six or seven videos, whereas I already have, I think, close to 70 videos uploaded, and I'm offering it just, okay, this is the, I already checked out this borrow before, and it did not have what I need. Maybe it's up here. Um, but yeah, I have a ton of videos. And I'm still offering around 150 subscribers, a little bit under at the time of recording this. Hopefully, I'll be over 150 subscribers by the time you're watching this video. But anyway, I noticed that those channels that have only a few videos and a ton of subscribers, they're obviously putting a lot more effort into those videos than I am into these ones. Since these, I am just playing a game, and there's very minimal editing, and, uh, yeah, by design, these don't require a ton of work, because I want to be able to pump out a lot of them without much editing time, but I think if I want my channel to stand apart and gain more of a following, I should probably try to mix in at least a few um, more high effort videos every now and then. So, what those are going to be, oh, that's not, that's not what you like to see. Um, what those high effort videos are going to be, I'm not exactly sure yet. But, uh, I'm going to think about it, and I'm going to get myself until I get back from Portugal. And then I'm gonna hopefully start working on them. Can I, can we all open this or is it gonna disappear? You know what, I will join their group for right now.
July. In theory, I should have some higher effort videos coming out. I'm trying to think what I want them to be about. Questy. Oh, that's like an add-on. Um, Pokemon seems to be a popular topic. Obviously, it's like one of the most popular franchises in the world, so that is something I'm considering since I've kind of been... Oh no, he died. Oh no, my group is dying. That's not good. Oh crap. Oh no, he healed himself. Oh crap. Where is my... Where's the other guy? Okay, phew. Okay. Sorry that <laughs> I feel like I apologize too much in general, just in my life and definitely in these videos. Um. It's not too annoying that I constantly get derailed when I'm talking. But yeah, so some type of Pokemon videos potentially. Maybe talking about World of Warcraft. Or getting into some of my other passions. Maybe talking about Banjo. Or... I guess photography. Um, I'm into like meditation. I do transcendental meditation, so that's a potential. I know it's hard because I'm into like so many varied things. I feel like there's so many things I could talk about, but I don't feel like an expert in any of them. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. But that's what I've been thinking of. I do want to make some more high effort videos. I think when I get back from Portugal, I'm not sure exactly what date um, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom comes out. But I think it's around when I get back or during my trip. And I obviously think that is going to probably take over the internet. So I plan on probably buying that game when it comes out and making some videos of that. So maybe making some videos on Tears of the Kingdom or Legend of Zelda. And also I've had suggestions to play Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil Village. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. So I bought that game this morning. I don't know when I'll get around to playing it. Definitely a game I'm going to play during the daytime, I think. Not a huge fan of horror in general, so hopefully I can handle it, but I'm not going to play it before going to bed, um, so I don't think that's going to be a, a high effort video, but maybe I'll add a few horror elements um, into this channel. I'm really surprised that that seemed to be like a popular thing. Um, Person recommended on my Stardew Valley video to record um, a Resident Evil video, and I'm not like I don't really watch many horror movies. And I, the last time I played a horror game was in like 2013 when uh, Amnesia came out, and I did not get very far in that game. And then I played a little, uh, what's it called, Limbo, which I feel like that's like a pretty mild horror game. So I've never really played any horror games, so I wasn't going to really consider playing the uh, 
Resident Evil game, but then someone else also commented that they'd like to see it. And it's pretty rare that multiple people suggest an idea, so I gave it some thought, and it was on sale. So I bought it and will get around to playing it. I'll make at least one video of it at the very least. Maybe more. But if you have any ideas of like a topic that I should focus on or like something you'd really want to see for ASMR, please feel, let, uh, feel free to let me know. I'm very open to feedback and suggestions, just like that horror game, like initially I was going to brush it off, but if multiple people want to see something, I'm willing to give it a try. I'm very, very open to new experiences. I feel like this is one of, maybe I could have done this quest on my own, but it seems like this is a quest that requires a group to do. Also sucks that other guy's alive, because now we're just leaving a bunch of dead monsters for him that we can't loot. Oh god. Okay, I got him. Shit. This is pretty fun to be in a group though, even though it's with strangers. Actually being social in a video game, that never happens. Physical damage done. Reduced by three. Okay, I need one more. Dude, my bag is getting pretty full.
so we hit level 10. Oh, fuck. Yes, okay, I think I clicked it first. I think I clicked it first. Nice. I'm assuming Rage Claw drops that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
Actually, playing with people, I know I've said that right, but...
you like the mouth sounds. I've started to try to make those more when I have like long pauses where I'm not talking. Since uh, if you're watching with game audio, at least you have that in the background, but I realized for the people watching without game audio, just having a long silent part is probably, uh, I don't know if annoying is the right word, but probably not ideal. Even though, personally, when I watch ASMR, when there's like a silent part, I almost feel like it builds anticipation, which can almost give its own type of ASMR feel to it. I'll keep those other ones just as backup. I can always dump them if I need the space. Jasara, the kidnapped druids of the Talon, will be forever trapped in the Emerald Dream if we cannot retrieve the relics of the Awakening. For every minute we delay, their fate comes one step closer to eternal doom. You have succeeded, young hunter. Well done, and just in time, I might add. Which one of these would be worth more? Because we'll go with that. Now the time has come to save the druids of the Talon. If we fail now, Jassar, they will be forever lost in sleep. I shall prepare the relics of wakening and perform the ritual for my work to take effect. The cursed beast responsible for this horrible situation must be slain. Only then will the ritual be complete. It was Ursul the Mahler who meddled with our brethren's calling, and it is Ursul the Mahler who must now pay so they can be freed and travel to Gnarlpine Hold in the southwest and slay him. So I can get more crap I don't need. Okay, well now what we really need to do is go talk to the hunter trainer and get real quest. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Need to fill that. I should buy another bag, I think. I wish there was a bank here. Well, let's buy my spells and stuff first before potentially waste my money on weapons. Taming the beast. As a hunter, it's important to remember the responsibilities you hold in your hands. Nature is not a power that can be bent to obey our desires. A 
it is one that is to be respected and acknowledged as something stronger than your very existence. Jasara, you must prove your understanding of this before you will gain the ability to tame an animal to be your companion. Your first task is to take this taming rod. With it, you'll be able to tame a wet, a web wood lurker. Tame it and practice your skills as a hunter. Using the taming rod, tame a web, web wood lurker. Practice your skills and return the taming rod. Dossalar in the Dalinar. Okay, let's see. Aspect of the Hawk. Wow, this is expensive. Okay. That's also expensive. Track humanoid. That would have been useful. all my money. Thank God I didn't buy a bag or something stupid. And then I'm going to need to buy spells for or skills for my pet, I think. I think I can sell this stuff on the auction house. I actually probably should not sell that here. But I will turn those linen into bandages, I guess. Why do I feel like a level... Oh, I thought 25. <laughs> that was nice. I thought 25, that was gonna lose. Okay, at 30. It changes. Well, I can probably sell these. Let's go tame a web wood lurker. reading the quest log that made me think. I've also thought about doing videos where I read. Um, just like read a story or something. Okay, I have to 
defensive, passive. Do I just take control one? south, okay, me 
maybe they're in this last area I haven't explored. I don't think this is the right way down. But as I was saying, yeah, I want to read the stories. I've thought of reading Dr. Seuss. But I don't know if that is like a, if I'm breaking, I don't know if copyright's the right word, but yeah, I don't know if it's like technically legal, and I'm sure I'd be fine because my channel's small, but when I do over, uh, when I do eventually grow, might not be great, and I definitely don't want to get a strike for it. Uh, there are some other people that have made Dr. Seuss ASMR videos that I've been a big fan of those videos. I've watched them or listened to them a lot. But yeah, I don't know if you're technically supposed to do that. So if I did read stories, I'd probably try to find stuff that's like in the public domain. Maybe like fairy tales and things like that that are completely fair use. Or I was considering like having AI write original stories for me to read. Um, but yeah, that's one thought I've had. I don't think that would be one of my like super high effort videos, but again to add a little bit more variety. Crap. God, my pet is not taking any aggro. Oh, I also just realized my pet's only level 5. That's not ideal. Okay, I could dismiss this pet, but... what we need. Damn, my rested XP has run out. Crap. Well, I guess we'll kill this one. I need to dismiss my pet first. I 
This isn't where that guy is, is it, that we need to kill? Okay, I don't see any special one. this 
maybe this is um where I need to fill that vial. Okay, yep, I'm assuming that well. Glorious vial of prepare to meet your maker. Crap. Oh shit. Or maybe I'll prepare to meet my maker. Oh, I have a minor healing potion, so as long as he doesn't have one, I think I'll win this fight. So unsure of how I want to progress with this World of Warcraft series. First of all, it doesn't seem super popular yet. I mean, I guess I've only released two episodes, but they have not got many views. Even in comparison to my other videos, uh, Minecraft is the clear favorite. But uh, even my Stardew Valley and Deep Rock Galactic videos have gotten more, more views than these. But anyway, I'm enjoying playing it, so I want to keep recording it, but I don't know if I should just continue on with this Night Elf Hunter, or if I should pick another racing class and try to like get a bunch of different ones up to level 10. So, if you're watching and have any preference, um, shit, okay, that's just, god damn it. Um, if you have a preference, please let me know. Okay, these are the... I think those are the things I need to get the tumors off of. OK, 
guess I'll just try to like fill out this area since I'm up here anyway. But yeah, I'm trying to think what other race I would want, or race and class I would want to play as. A druid interests me, but I think if I did, they're not even my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of their starting area. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. I can't remember it that well. But I think I would probably um, do an undead because they have like another starting area that's also kind of dark. I guess that nighttime vibe to it. Because if I was to play a horde race, I think the trolls appeal to me the most, but they have like a very, a very bright area from what I remember. I think it's almost like a tropical island. Um. Oh my god. I just want to get far enough in to discover this area. And another sharpened letter opener. Where the heck are the screechers? Maybe down there. But if you have a preference for, if you'd like to see other starting areas, there we go. Um, and if you would, what race and class you'd like to see, again, please let me know. I would love to hear uh, your thoughts. Also, please let me know if it's annoying how much I ask for your input. But again, I'm making these videos for you, so I want to make sure they're as good as they can possibly be. And, yeah, the best way I can ensure that is if I actually get feedback from you. Jeez Louise, I'm a far away from Dalinar. All this for a pet that I'm just gonna, like, release in a minute as soon as I get back. my leather working high enough to pick up some new recipes. And stitch leather pants. Nice. Will these be better than what I have on? Way better. Way, way better. I could just kind of no one here that sells the supplies. I just need to buy some coarse thread. And I need to hit 50 on skinning. But at least I can get better pants. And then I just need better weapons. But if I have enough money, I'll buy a, a new bow when I hit a level 11. I think that bow is expensive. Maybe I can sell some of this stuff on the uh, auction house and make a little money. But I'll have to go back to Darnassus for that. I also wonder how much this stuff actually goes for. like him. 
soon. A level 11 hunter thrill dream. Oh, 
auction house, probably not a lot, but I bet it sells for a decent amount. And I need to hit 40 before I can get the next level of that. But overall, I think we made some good progress in this video. I mentioned this in my Baldur's Gate video, but I literally only play video games when I'm recording. So I think that's why, or at least I think my gameplay is not that great, because I don't play these games that much. You get to see how much I play them. But I don't feel that bad about World of Warcraft. I don't think I make... I'm definitely a noob. I don't know that much about it, but I feel like my gameplay isn't too boring. At least for classic. But anyway, I hope you found this video relaxing. If you made it to this point, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It really does mean so much to me. And it really helps the channel grow when these videos get mostly watched. And if you're trying to fall asleep to this video, I hope that you're not hearing this. And if you are, just relax. You'll be asleep soon. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. I hope you'll join me as I continue this adventure and head to Tarnassus and also finish the rest of those quests I have. But as always, good night and goodbye.